Welcome to another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hennett. This is part three of a decoding from the series called Night Vision, episode, excuse me, season one, episode 13, and the story is called Patterns. Uh, I am supposed to continue with my notes. And in, at the end of part two, I was talking about point number five. So now I will try to read my notes and see if I can make sense of another point here. So as I was saying, the, the crazy guy said that if I don't do these little trigger movements, um, the world will fall apart, basically. But he doesn't say it like that. He, he, he says that, but to throw you, to, to, to add to it, you know, he just doesn't say, oh, the world, that isn't all he says. He, find, he does say that, but in between, he also says very specifically that the color blue on my tie, my tie won't be blue. What I'm doing keeps the color blue on this tie. What I'm doing keeps the airplane in the sky. So the occult message there, the very, very sly, subtle, impossible to know truth of what he's saying and what he's really talking about is frequencies. Now, if you step back for a minute, and excuse me, I'm going to ad lib. You step back for a minute and you think about how powerful that is, how amazing that is, how, how secret that is, or secretive that is. For, for the people that write, the people that write these TV shows, they know the occult. They are masters of the occult. They know this shit inside and out. And that's how they can make these sci-fi shows and movies that are astounding and incredible. You're like, wow, they have such an imagination. No, they don't. They're, they're just, they are just coming up with ways to hide the true science of the universe that includes your melanin. So I'm going to put a period there. I did my ad-libbing. Let me continue. Okay, it's very brilliant that this guy said, I mean, this is like the one of the deepest decodings I've ever done. And it just... It, it came to me because I just said, I know there's something here. I know some, what he's saying here is very pertinent. What he's saying there is a secret. And it only took me a few minutes of talking out loud. And I was like, oh, boom, it's frequency. He's fucking talking about frequency. Holy caca. Anyway, let me stop ad-libbing. Three minutes and 55 seconds. I should finish this now. So he said, this world is definitely... Oh, that's my comment. Excuse me. I th let me look. Oh, my God. We might have to have a part four. Shit. We're going to have to have a por part four and part five. Am I talking too much? All right, my notes jump over to point, to point six, which I have misnumbered. Point six. There's a double entendre, so to speak. And that double entendre is when they use the word ritual. What is the cult, occult meaning of, of him using the word ritual? Well... Superficially in the story, he's, he's talking about the obsessive compulsive behavior of the man. 
Maybe he's folding a card, you know. Maybe he's flipping the corners of a card or something like that. The psychologist or psychiatrist says, it's psychiatrist, okay, I'm correcting myself. He says that that's a ritual. What does that, what is, what is the other meanings behind that, that we can learn? What is the occult truth? Well, they always, like, there's always two truths. And this is how I'm going to explain it, okay? There's a black truth, and then there's a white reversal lie, okay? I don't want to say white lie. It's a reversal. That means if they're saying the opposite of what is true, all right? Maybe in the story, the white person really represents a black person. That's the reversal, okay? So, getting back to these notes here. We're talking about ritual, and we're, we're, I'm trying to tell you what is the double meaning of that. Well, you can interpret, you can interpret this. Okay, there's two ways you can interpret this. One is the black truth, and one is the white reversal lie. So let's talk about the white reversal lie. And white reversal lie means the opposite meaning of what is portrayed in the story. So the white reversal lie is using the word ritual, which could mean matrix. Okay. It what 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 it means is that the beast is using a ritual to create the matrix. Okay? And the matrix is, is controlling the world, okay? So that's a separate meaning from the crazy guy controlling the world. And I'm going to stick to my notes so I don't ad lib and let me take one point, at, one point at a time. I'm talking about the white reversal lie. The ritual means the matrix, okay? They do rituals to keep this matrix going. And what, is, what are the rituals? The rituals are to control. Control money. There's money control. There's TV programming control. There's world um, workers creating the concept of working as a slave. Well, basically, you're a slave. That is, that is a way to control the matrix. Resources, controlling resources is a way to control the matrix, and it's a ritual to control the matrix. Land control is a ritual to control the matrix, etc., etc. You can think of other examples. So now, adding on to that, okay, this is my, this is a little bit of commentary, but I wrote it down as, um, as notes. In 2021, you can see now all is in chaos. To this date, right now, right now the world is turned upside down. They can't control the matrix anymore. And, yeah, they can't control, so now... Everyone's going to be a fucking slave, an economy, an economic slave, including the beast, the beast of the beast, the elite people, the elite beast are going to be, the elite beast are going to be, be, be making slaves of the other beast. Okay. The beast that used to be at the top of the mountain, living the best life and having the best of everything and having everything going their way. Okay, they are going to feel the wrath of the elite beast. Okay? I think you get my message here. So, I will put a period on that. That's That point is finished. Okay? That was talking about the rituals. Um, 
and what it one th one thing that it could mean. Okay, now it's ten minutes. Now I'm gonna talk about what what the concept of ritual means in the story. Okay, the other part, the other half of what it means, because it has two meanings. Now, here is the black truth, meaning regarding you. What, what, what truth is it saying about you, black person? Number one, the character in the story that is crazy is actually a black person. They're talking about a black person. And what is it saying? that it's it's the psychiatrist said that you the crazy person well excuse me the crazy person says i'm doing all this i have to do all this in order to keep the world going but what he's talking about is frequency okay that is the the universal principle and law that he's talking about is frequency how does that relate to you Excuse me that I'm ad-libbing now because I didn't write that exactly on the paper because it's hard to explain. But how does it relate to you? Well, the black truth is that you are the masters of the universe. You, melanated person, are the alpha and omega. You are the descendants of Adams and Eves. You are the guardians of the universe, which is a movie. You, and that's why I said it, you, and I didn't even watch the movie. I just heard the title and I knew I, I, I knew instantly what they're talking about. You are the creators of all modern inventions that have been stolen, co-opted, and renamed by the beast. You are the Christ people with the light in your pineal gland, because Christ means light. You are the most copied, inventive, trending, trending making, rap talking, uh, creative dancing, language uh, pontificator, soulful, flavorful, powerful, physically fit people on the planet. And this world could not function without you, without your energy. All advances in science, I'm not gonna call it science, psi, P-S-Y, E-N-D-S, Cyens, is based on studying your melanin. Now, I'm going to put a period there. I can't shoot. Something got fucked up here. Excuse me. I'm like, I don't know why the screen went when um, it it minimized on the phone and I'm like, you know, checking to see if I'm still talking here or if it's still recording. Now we're at 14 minutes, so I should hurry up. So anyway, you are the creators and, oh my God, in progress. Oh, you are the creators and right now, in progress now, the destroyers of this fuckery of this planet, on this planet. How are you the destroyers? Because you're waking up. So I'm going to put a period on that. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to re-explain that last sentence or reiterate it at all. It's at the 14 minute mark, 14, 45 seconds. And that, that 
brings to conclusion what I learned from Bobby Hemet. And if you are on the frequency of a certain level, uh, I, you will understand what I say and what I've said because you have the background knowledge of Bobby Hemet to put the puzzle together and your ancestors will just uh, reveal the knowledge to you just as they did to me very easily. And I just want to finish by saying that whomever, and what I'm saying is unscripted now, whomever is listening to my voice right now in the present moment which is all that we have may the ancestors and the it's all ancestors no matter what but may the ancestors and our higher selves which are the stars and the celestial bodies called that are falsely called planets. May you receive the knowledge of understanding so that your spirit can grow stronger and stronger in in its awakeness and I declare that to be for whomever is listening to my voice right now and as we wake up and as we uh oh I'm at 17 minutes so let me stop <laughs> uh, as we wake up further and further and further it is your job actually it's not your job but it would be nice if you brought thoughts of destruction to this world because it needs to finish i mean completely totally be over because this is a this is ridiculous i mean it's ridiculous now let me stop talking because it's 17 minutes and this is the end, and all thanks to Uncle Bobby Hennett.